Who doesn't love painting loose style watercolour flowers? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to paint these really pretty, soft muted blooms using watercolour. So let's get started. Okay, so today I'm using a rough watercolour paper and I'm using my rather special paints from Deep Deep Light. I'm new, using a muted palette today. Now, if you want to join in with this tutorial, you don't have to use these paints, but if you did want to treat yourself to my special Raised Blooms set, then I have a discount code. So I'm going to start this painting by doing a background of a few muted tones within the set using Prickly Pear, Partridge and the gorgeous really muted soft pink called Blossom. To start with I wet my paper and I'm just randomly putting the paint onto that wet paper so that it just creates this beautiful soft background. There's no rhyme or reason to this, I'm just dropping in those muted tones and letting them dry and spread out on that wet watercolour paper. This is wet in wet and it merges the colours together really softly and beautifully to create a really muted background. We don't want this to be too heavy and you can use whichever colours that you fancy using within your own set. Watercolour does dry a little bit lighter so I felt I needed to go in with a second wash. So once again I wet my paper and I did the same method as before and I dropped in the colours again using a mixture of partridge, prickly pear using a mixture of partridge, prickly pear, and the gorgeous cherry blossom. The brushes I'm using are from Craftamo. We did a collaboration last year and I'm using a number eight round, but as always, use what you have. Now, I have done a little drawing here, as you can just about see on the watercolor paper. So if you want to join in with this tutorial, I'm going to give you a, a reference outline to uh, help you with that and if you want to just draw them freehand you can but um, I will provide you with a free outline and I'll tell you a little bit later on how you can access that as I said completely free. Now I've mixed up the most gorgeous colour here it's one of my favourites in the set and it's called Rose Ashes. It's a granulating colour and as you can see I'm applying a watered down version of it to the top of the petal using my number eight brush and dropping in the darker value to the bottom section. If you want to join in with me today, you can use any colours that you want to. You don't have to use the paints from Deep Deep Light. But I know many of you have bought this set that I launched uh, in a recent collaboration with Deep Deep Light. And you are giving me such positive feedback that I'm going to be doing a series of watercolour paintings with them. And I start off with something really simple. Everybody can join in with no matter what your level. But like I said, use whatever colours you want to. But I really love these muted soft tones. So that's what I'm using today. And you can see a watered down version there of that gorgeous rose ashes with a smidgen of cherry blossom and I'm just applying it on the petals as you can see. Now I'm working on every other one because I don't want that colour to bleed into the adjacent petal until I'm ready for it to do so. You can draw these freehand of course. The greens that I've got there are green woodpecker and solstice fern and it's very very random. There's very very um, very very loose style painting, no rhyme or reason. It's all about enjoying the process and just having fun with your watercolour paints. Now if you are interested in purchasing my set you can quote the uh, code that you see on your screen and you can get a 10% discount with that for all of the paints on Deep Deep Light's website. So if you do fancy treating yourself to some amazing um, handmade, handcrafted paints, then do check them out for your 10%. I have Reed Buff mixed in the palette there. That's that beautiful cream tone that you can see. And I'm just using the brush to apply those colors no rhyme or reason, as I say, you can see what colours that I'm picking up from the palette there. A little bit of that gorgeous cherry blossom going on. Cherry blossom is a muted, very opaque colour. It's a kind of muted, pinky, lilac-y tone, and I haven't seen anything quite like it, which is why I wanted to add it to my set. Dropping in the rose ashes there, look how those colours merge together to create that lovely soft granulation. And there we have the, um, the solstice green, solstice fern and green woodpecker mixed together. It doesn't matter, they're granulating paints and they will just merge together, adding a little bit of that rose ashes. Now, if you want um, the free outline, we do provide you with a free digital version every single week. 
And if you want access to that, all you need to do is join our Patreon. It's totally free for our free membership levels where you can have outlines to our weekly tutorials. And let's just see what you get if you are a paid member. When you join Patreon, you will have access to exclusive content that you just won't find here on YouTube. Whether you're a seasoned artist or just dipping your brush into botanical watercolour, you may want to join us here on Patreon where the magic happens. And with Patreon's new collections tab, it makes accessing the tutorials super easy. When you join us here on Patreon, we dive deep into the art of botanical watercolours, from vibrant blooms to fine detail, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. We have three membership levels to suit your skill and budget, and we even have a mentorship and coaching level, so if you're serious about developing your skills, then this could be the level for you. And now you can join Patreon for free, which will give you access to all of our YouTube traceables, which will be delivered weekly to your inbox, so no more scrolling through for the images. So if you are ready to embark on a watercolour adventure, unlock exclusive content and join a community that celebrates the beauty of botanicals, hit that join button, which I will link in the description. You can leave or join at any time, but as I said, if you want access to our weekly YouTube tutorial outlines, they are completely free and there's no obligation to join up. We give you them as a little thank you for watching our channel. This is a mixture of solstice fern and the green woodpecker, and I'm taking it down the stem, mixing them together, as you can see here, using my number eight brush. This has got a, a nice dry, fine point, and it takes me right into the pencil line, and letting that colour gently bleed into the wet paint that I've done on the petals. If you are enjoying this video, could I please ask you to give me a thumbs up? It's a way of letting YouTube know that you're enjoying my content, and it means that more people can see it, and it helps my channel grow. I would love to continue to grow my YouTube channel, so those likes really do matter. Everything's now dry, so I'm going in with a little bit of reed buff here and there, and I'm just dropping in the colours you can see me picking up from the palette. Now, every week here on YouTube, we create new content. We do full-length tutorials every week. We don't speed them up. We give you the full thing. Um, it's all for free, so if this is something that appeals to you, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that little bell notification so that you'll be informed every time I upload new content and you won't miss out on these free tutorials. The Patreon tutorials are, by the way, um, you won't find them here on YouTube, they're not sped up versions, they are exclusive for my Patreons and um, they are much more in-depth and strictly botanical. If you are having difficulties with um, any colours that you want to lose, drop me a comment below. I'm all, I answer all comments, so if there is something that you'd like to ask me, go ahead and I'll um, help you as much as I can. You can see how I'm just dropping in those colours, letting them bleed into that damp paint, charging that colour up with a darker value. Because these colours that I'm using, a lot of the colours that I'm using today are granulating, it means that they merge gently into that watercolour paper and the damp paint, and you can see that separation, giving it a really watercolour painterly look, which I absolutely adore, and I think these colours work so well together and look so pretty. This is a rose ashes, that dark purpley maroony colour. This is a gorgeous granulating tone which I absolutely adore. I'm just adding a little bit of a detail here using the tip of my, my number eight brush. Just, just dropping in a few details here and there, as you can see, again, using that gorgeous, beautiful rose ashes. Adding a tiny bit more of that partridge colour. Along with a little bit of solstice fern and just darkening up the green there on the top part of the flowers and I will take this down the stem. Just to strengthen up the colour of the stems of the flowers. 
I've actually made these flowers up today. Um, sometimes we do uh, a kind of more botanical painting, but sometimes it's nice to do a looser style. Notice how I'm putting the green colour first and then just dropping in a tiny bit of rose ashes to give a little bit of variation on the stem. We're almost finished with this painting. Um, I'm going to stop talking and let you watch the rest of it in peace as I normally do. Stay until the end so that you can see the finished painting. Remember to like if you've enjoyed it and I'll say at this point thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.